you know, our core strength in NIACORP uh, is extractive metallurgy. And, and we have a team that's very good at uh, getting pay metals out of rock and, and turning them into to saleable high purity products. And that's certainly been the story with Scandium to this point. Uh, but as we're searching for ways to uh, improve our project and de-risk it, we've really taken a hard look at Scandium recently. And uh, you know the current project, as we envision it, would make a Scandium in the oxide form. And, and that's a good product. And, and we can sell that into the solid oxide fuel cell market. Um, there's probably some other outlets for that material as well. But one of the big consumers, uh, potentially, of Scandium oxide is the aluminum alloys market. And really to get into that market, uh, the people that make aluminum alloys want uh, what's known as a master alloy. Uh, that is a material containing uh, aluminum and about 2% scandium, which allows the alloy manufacturer to introduce scandium into a particular alloy formulation. <clears throat> so if we're Niocorp and we're in a position where we're making the oxide, uh, we have to go through an intermediary uh, to get to aluminum alloy producers. And uh, as we got to thinking and investigating what we might be able to do there, uh, we uh, hooked up with a company called uh, Nanoscale Technologies, who's got a, a really good and, and proven technology for, uh, for making uh, master alloys. And we've entered into a, a development program with them where uh, we would, through a number of phases, uh, start at a small scale and, and uh, work uh, with their technology on a process that would allow us to commercially produce scanning aluminum master alloy. So at the end of that process, you know, we will have access or, or much better access, I would say, to uh, prospective uh, buyers uh, in the aluminum metal space that are interested in using scandium in, in, in particular applications. Yeah. And at the same time, um, this will allow us to build a business around selling scandium aluminum master alloy. Uh, and we can do that in the time we have available here between now and when our uh, production plant in Nebraska is ready for production. And we can do that and build that business uh, using purchased materials. So at the end of the day, you know, at the time that we will have a, a completed plant at Elk Creek, Nebraska, that's producing scandium oxide, uh, we'll have developed this uh, scandium aluminum master alloy business. And so we'll have multiple outlets for uh, the scandium that's going to come out of the ground at Elk Creek. But what we're finding is that there are an, an unbelievable number of applications just in the EV world by itself, where you can use an aluminum scandium alloy in place of a 100% aluminum part today. The, the cost of that uh, in all likelihood will be lower uh, because of, of some heat treatment uh, processes that are not required for the aluminum scandium alloy versus the aluminum by itself. And if we can get a lower cost part into that EV that has lighter weight, which makes the battery allow, you know, allows the battery to, to uh, uh, take you further on a single charge. And we add structural and, you know, additional structural capability uh, to these parts as compared to aluminum by itself, because the aluminum scandium is a stronger alloy. It, it, it doubles the strength of that, that aluminum on its own, just with a, a small percentage. If we can get all of those things lined up, and simply make an aluminum scandium uh, part in place of the current aluminum part. It's just a geometric size, and you can insert that into the uh, manufacturing platform today. Uh, if we can get all of these things put together and, and start talking to the OEMs uh, more deeply about the use of scandium aluminum alloys, I think we have a, a real winner here. Mm -hmm.